It has been two weeks since I've had my hands on the Fujifilm X-T4. I've used it for photography, I've used it for video, and I've made up my mind on what I think about this camera. So I thought today I wanted to share that with you and give you a little bit of a review. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to mention is that I've been using Fujifilm for three years now. I love Fujifilm, all of their cameras, the colors, everything about these cameras, the usability, the, the way they look and the way they, they feel with the knobs on top, all of that I really love. And the X-T4 is simply the upgrade of the Fujifilm X-T3 that I've been using for the last two years. So all of my thoughts that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are pretty much based on a comparison that I am making with the camera I'm used to use, which is the Fujifilm X-T3. I also want to mention here, guys, that if you would like to check my photography, you could see it on my Instagram account or also on my Vero account, where I've been sharing a lot more pictures lately. So feel free to go and check it out. The links are in the description below. So the first thing that I've noticed using the X-T4 is how good the picture look. The image quality coming out of this camera is actually really, really surprising. It is the same sensor as the Fujifilm X-T3, however, the picture does not come out the same at all. I think it's the way the camera processes the image that really makes all the difference. I didn't think there was going to be that much of a difference between the X-T3 and the X-T4 since the sensors are the same, but the X-T4 is a nice upgrade. The batteries have been updated on the X-T4 and the battery life has always been a problem I've had with Fujifilm because I felt like you go out and shoot and after only a couple of hours you're already running out of batteries and I always had to carry two, three, maybe sometimes even four batteries when I was actually shooting videos and taking photos at the same time. Now, with the X-T4 and this new batteries, I can actually go out a whole afternoon, shoot photos and videos and still come home with a little bit of battery left on this. I actually purchased a second one just in case, but so far I've yet to use it. Another thing that I love about this new camera is the fact that they added the flip out screen. Uh, mostly I'm saying this for video and you'll know why in a little bit because I'll tell you why I don't really like that for the photography side of things. But as far as video is concerned, I love the flip out screen. I'm vlogging and filming myself like this all the time. Being able to see myself, being able to frame the shot and making sure the exposure is right, that's been really, really helpful. And I also want to mention that the LCD screen coming out on the X-T4 is so much better than the X-T3 that I feel like it makes all the difference. It feels like the picture you're taking is so much better than it used to be. So that is definitely a positive. Now, IBIS in-body image stabilization has been added to the X-T4 compared to the X-T3. Now, this is a great thing, again, for a video. As far as photography goes, I've never really needed to use stabilization. I don't really ever shoot in the dark where I need to go at a very low shutter speed. So stabilization has never really been an issue for photography. But for video, though, the fact that the X-T3 wasn't stabilized, that really was an issue. And now, with IBIS, I can shoot everything handheld and not have any problems and I don't need to work harder on post-production afterwards in Final Cut to stabilize my footage. So that's a big, big gain of time. And the fact that they added IBIS to the camera made the body a little heavier and a little bigger. Well, that's not a big issue actually. I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to that. Also the grip is bigger because that's where the new battery sits. And I'm actually very happy about the bigger grip. I think that's a nice uh, feature, a nice um, look for the camera. Now the new design of the X-T4 that I'm talking about is obviously what I just mentioned. The fact that the body is a little beefier and then the grip is also bigger. That's mainly what the difference is in the body. My X-T3 was a black finish when this one is a silver one and I really like the silver finish, it's very nice. 
I've always loved the designs of the Fujifilm cameras with all the knobs on top and the fact that the camera looks like a vintage old school camera. Uh, so that's not changed, but I love that about the camera. And the on and off button switch that's right here has a little more resistance to it. So this is very nice because I used to have uh, this issue come up to me when I would put my camera down in my bag or something and then I would turn on the camera without noticing and that would just empty the battery where this is very like resistant so I'm sure I won't have that problem again. On top of that a new thing that came out in this camera is the shutter. The shutter is different. It feels very smooth and it sounds also very smooth so that is definitely a plus. I never really noticed how bad the X-T3 sounded when I was taking photos but now that I'm using the X-T4 I can tell how much nicer this new shutter is. Listen to this. I don't know if you could tell. This is very smooth. Now you can tell I have a lot of good things to say about the X-T4, but obviously there are some minor things that I'm still complaining about. And I've mentioned how I love the uh, flip out screen for videos. Now I want to mention how much I actually hate it for photography. So it depends what you want to use this camera for. If you're just a photographer and you're not shooting videos, especially if you're not vlogging like I am, in that case, I would highly recommend to stick to the X-C3 because the tilt-out screen is a lot better for photography. The number one issue I've had with Fujifilm is the autofocus. For photography, you can deal with it. You can click on the screen, focusing on whatever point of the photo you want to take. However, when you're doing video, you have the autofocus set on eye detection, filming someone's face, it would be tracking the whole time. And it's, it's been an issue in the past and I feel like the X-T4 might be even worse than the X-T3. If not worse, at least it's the same. So obviously, if there's one thing that I would want Fujifilm to upgrade, it is the autofocus. All right, this round up my thoughts on the Fujifilm X-T4. As you can tell, I love this camera. I love Fujifilm in general. I used the X-T3 for a long time and now the X-T4 is even better, especially for video. I highly recommend anyone that wants to get into photography to use Fujifilm because they're very practical and easy to use. All the dials are in the top. It's very nice and simple to use when you're getting into photography and you don't know what you're doing yet. At the same time, the colors coming out of Fuji cameras are to me some of the best you can get out there. So always highly recommend Fujifilm and if you were to choose a camera from Fujifilm, I would go for the X-T4 knowing that's the latest and greatest. This is it for me today guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so or give me a like or a comment. Everything is appreciated. And I guess I'll see you next week for another one. Peace.